All right, hello there. Welcome back to another lesson in patterns and equations. And we're going to kind of take a break from the, all the ends and all the tables and all the inputs and outputs. And we're going to look at something a little bit different, yet still related. And uh, let's just start off here. Like, and I, I have this picture of a family reunion. And I uh, have a question. How could Jordan describe where his great uncle Ted is in this photo? So we're gonna do, we're gonna do something here with uh, it's got a little bit of history to it. Uh, a guy named René Descartes, and he was a French mathematician who lived from 1596 to 1650. He developed something called the coordinate grid system, and in his honor, it is called the Cartesian plane. And Cartesian comes from his name Descartes. So just as a description, it's uh, two perpendicular lines, inter and they intersect at zero. And I'll show you in a graphic here in a sec. And we call that point of intersection where the lines meet O, or it's also called the origin, okay? And when we describe a position on a coordinate grid, we use two numbers. And the numbers locate a point in relation to the origin, or O. So O is our reference, and we're, we're putting stuff on a grid in relation. And I'm, I'm sure you've heard of coordinates before. I'm, heard, I'm sure you've seen enough TV shows enough uh, sci-fi like what are the coordinates of you know the spaceship and, and they're like oh sector 42 and they have a bunch of numbers and so it's kind of it's kind of like on that kind of level not as nerdy but for sure um, and there is a picture of the handsome devil Rene Descartes there um, so let's just look at look at this here so O O is um, represented here okay and O and origin they both start with O and so it kind of kind of makes sense and if I was to like I say you know give it a point on the coordinate grid similar to um, we're, we're doing in relation to the origin if I looked at point A here and I should probably label point A um, I need to go six units to the right and four units up okay six units to the right and four units up so let's it's kind of our our here's our starting point a little star around it and i'm telling myself i need to go six to the right and four up to find point a and we write these coordinates in brackets and we put six comma four for this one so we always look at the horizontal axis first that is the first number that goes in the brackets comma and then we look at the vertical axis so if you look there am i correct point a is six comma four and we call these coordinates now because we're always looking at the x-axis or the horizontal axis first we always put that first and we always put the y-axis or the vertical axis for uh, second and I'm saying X and Y and that will come a little bit more clear once you reach about grade 8 but we call them ordered pairs and we call them ordered pairs because I know the first number in the pair is going to be the horizontal axis that's that guy and I know this one will always be the four there will always be the second number and that represents the vertical and we say a has coordinates six comma four and I write it like this, and it's kind of strange. I say A, and let's, let me put this back on the grid here, A here. And we, we don't leave a space, so we know that A is talking about these coordinates here, okay? The point O has coordinates zero, zero, because you do not move anywhere to plot a point at origin. So if you can see, that I don't move anywhere starting at the zero um, or the origin here and I don't move anywhere up or down the other way so we call it zero comma zero now let's uh, let's do another another option here let's do another example let's say I have a point B and I'll use a blue one maybe I'll just choose this guy here I don't know I just randomly chose one and I want you to consider what are the coordinates for B and I want you to write it down properly and you can use my example for point A there. Give you about 10 seconds to figure that out. All right, let's see here. Well, I have to start with B and I put a bracket. And remember the first number is the first one on the list. So 
I think across. Oh, it's a six again. Okay, so six comma. But now it's not in the same spot. I have to look up. So I'm going to go up and it stops at seven. I go across and it's seven. So the coordinates for point B is six comma seven. Okay, let's try another one. How about C? Uh, let's go there. Okay. Give yourself uh, uh, ooh, I should label it C. Think about it for 10 seconds or so and come back or pause it, restart it, and we'll talk about it. All right, point C, C, bracket. We're only going one across and we are going four up. So C is one comma four. Now I'm gonna give you a tough one for our last one, D. We'll, we'll try a tougher one here. I would like you to find me point D. Okay, think about that for a second and pause it and then come back. All right, point D. Well, how many units are we going across? We are definitely going eight across. So it's D is eight comma. And how many are we going up? We didn't go up anything. So it's actually eight comma zero. We're not actually going up anywhere. And if I was to point another point here, let's say this is E, this one here, let me all write it up here, E, I didn't go anywhere to the right. It's zero comma nine. So we can use the bottom line and we can use zeros for these coordinates. Now, imagine we have large numbers, really large numbers. Um, and you know, if the previous one only went up to 10 on either side, we can still do it. We just got to make a scale. So we're going to say every square represents 10 or every square represents 25. Whatever your scale is, um, you can still do it. And so on this coordinate grid, one square represents five. And that's actually a lie. I lied. <laughs> I changed my mind. 10, 10 units. Okay. And if I was to plot point B, 10 comma 30, I start at the, z at the origin or zero, and it's not labeled on this one. It's not really a good picture. It should be labeled there. Okay, I have labeled it. I start at the origin. I move one square to the right, okay, which is right here. And how many squares up? 10 comma 30. Three squares up. One, two, three. So here is my point. That is point B, because it was labeled B in the example. Okay, and just for kicks and giggles, why don't we try, what is, what is this guy here? So we'll call this C, we'll call this one D, we'll call this one E. Pause it for 10 seconds, 15, 20, however long it takes you, and then we'll go over the answers here. All right, C, C bracket. Uh, well, I've kind of gone off the chart, so if that is 60, that means this has to be 70. So I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is going to be 70, 60. Okay, point D, I'm going 1, 2, 3, 4, which represents 10 each. It's 40, comma, and I'm only going up 1, 10. And then point E, I didn't go to the right at all, so that would be a 0. But I did go up 70, you know, seven squares or 70. So E point E is zero comma 70. Well, that's that's really it. Short lesson. Uh, hope that makes sense. Rene Descartes, you know, long time ago, still use his math today, and we use it to make or ordered pairs. So thanks, guys. Take care. And this is a tried, tested, true way of of uh, doing some math. It is a life skill many occupations use it. So again, proof in math, life happens. All right, take care.